Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Did you realize the plant-based straw in your iced coffee could leave microscopic plastic fragments lodged in your liver? Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Alara Skye, here to help you unpack new research showing so-called biodegradable starch plastics can disrupt your metabolism and damage vital organs within just three months. Ethan Foster with you. And today's conversation questions the green halo around starch-based products marketed as safe alternatives to petroleum plastics, yet capable of silently harming your health. Researchers fed female mice daily doses of starch microplastics, comparable to what you ingest through food, water, and air, then tracked biological changes over a 90-day window. Particles accumulated in the liver, intestines, and ovaries, proving these fragments slip past your natural defenses and lodge where they can inflict long-term cellular stress. Tissue analysis revealed scarring and inflammation alongside metabolic disturbances that mirrored early diabetes, underscoring how quickly microplastics translate environmental exposure into measurable internal harm. Most striking, blood glucose climbed in exposed mice, signaling impaired sugar control, an early marker that, in you, often precedes insulin resistance and full-blown type 2 diabetes. Researchers also documented unhealthy shifts in triglycerides, the fat circulating in your bloodstream, reinforcing that starch microplastics disturb multiple metabolic pathways simultaneously. Control animals eating identical chow without microplastics stayed metabolically stable, making the particles, not diet or calories, the clear trigger behind the organ and blood chemistry chaos. The gut microbiome changed too. Beneficial bacteria declined while opportunistic strains flourished, a shift that, in you, can weaken immunity and worsen weight management. Genes governing your circadian rhythm, the internal clock-setting sleep, energy, and hormone cycles, were thrown off, linking plastic fragments to fatigue, weight gain, and broader hormonal imbalance. Investigators traced much of the damage to oxidative stress, meaning an overload of free radicals outpaced the liver's protective enzymes, corroding cells from within. Importantly, the daily doses mirrored what you encounter sipping from compostable cups or reheating takeout, proof that safety cannot be assumed just because exposure feels minimal. Researchers saw a clear dose response. Higher particle loads produced more severe tissue destruction, yet even the lowest exposure still caused measurable harm within weeks. That finding dismantles the marketing promise that biodegradable equals benign. The fragments remain biologically active long after a fork or bag disappears from view. Because exposure is continuous, every meal, sip, and breath, you stack microscopic insults daily, and over months, those insults compound into chronic metabolic disease. Food packaging, bottled beverages, indoor dust, and tap water all carry starch-based microplastics that infiltrate your body through digestion, inhalation, and skin contact. Plant-based straws, compostable utensils, and produce bags marketed as eco-friendly break down quickly. But the smaller they get, the deeper they migrate inside you. Microfibers from polyester workout gear and synthetic carpet circulate in household air, making lungs another gateway for particles that later show up in blood. The outcome is a constellation of risks. Insulin resistance, weight gain, impaired immunity, rooted in the same metabolic derailment observed in the mouse model. Let's pivot to what you can control, starting with straightforward habits that cut microplastic intake today. First, choose foods sold in glass jars or uncoated paper, and skip anything wrapped in plastic, petroleum-based or plant-derived, because both shed harmful fragments. At home, move leftovers into glass, stainless steel, or pure beeswax wraps instead of any plastic containers that can leach particles under heat or abrasion. Filter your drinking water with a high-quality reverse osmosis or nanofiltration system because standard carbon filters miss the tiniest plastic debris. When ordering takeout, bring your own glass or steel containers and refuse plant-based cutlery, sparing yourself an unnecessary dose every time you eat on the go. Replace synthetic leggings and fleece blankets with organic cotton, linen, hemp, or wool to reduce airborne fibers you inhale while simply breathing at home. 
swap single-use plastic water bottles for durable stainless steel or glass, eliminating a major contributor to both environmental and internal microplastic buildup. Choose shampoos, lotions, and toothpaste packaged in glass or paper whenever possible, minimizing the plastic fragments that can migrate from tubes into your products. Even simple kitchen swaps, like beeswax wraps instead of plastic film, keep countless shards out of your meals and ultimately out of your bloodstream. Carry cloth shopping bags to bypass flimsy produce sacks that rapidly disintegrate into microparticles during transport and storage. Each small refusal compounds into a sizable reduction, shrinking the reservoir of plastic that would otherwise circulate through your organs for decades. Remember, whether the source is cornstarch or crude oil, the particle's behavior inside you is surprisingly similar, oxidative, inflammatory, and metabolically disruptive. So let's recap. Starch microplastics travel to your liver, intestines and ovaries, boost blood glucose, skew fats, disturb gut bacteria, and scramble circadian genes. Oxidative stress drives the damage, and researchers witnessed profound changes after only three months an alarmingly brief window compared to lifelong human exposure. When your internal clock misfires, you notice fragmented sleep, mid-afternoon crashes, and late-night hunger, all downstream of the circadian gene disruption revealed in this study. Scientists suspect gut dysbiosis intensifies that clock disturbance because bacterial metabolites normally help synchronize your sleep-wake cycle, disrupt the microbes, and your rhythm unravels further. Oxidative stress launches a biochemical chain reaction, oxidizing fats, proteins, and DNA, then amplifying inflammation to create a self-perpetuating cycle of cellular injury. Because exposure never pauses, that cycle keeps spinning, setting the stage for fatty liver disease, metabolic syndrome, and cardiovascular strain long before symptoms reach your awareness. The study also noted ovarian deposits, raising concerns that microplastics could interfere with hormone production and reproductive aging in women. Disrupted cycles can cascade into fertility challenges, mood shifts, and thyroid irregularities, further illustrating that particle exposure is a whole body issue, not confined to digestion. The problem is widespread. Schools, offices, and events increasingly distribute compostable plates and cups offering a comforting label while seeding microplastics into every bite and sip. That's why refocusing on durable, washable materials, glass, steel, ceramic, gives you genuine control and shrinks demand for single-use items masquerading as eco-solutions. Because microplastic contact is relentless, the stakes extend beyond laboratory mice to every sip, bite, and breath you take. Your daily choices, what you eat from, drink from, wear, and wash, either lessen or magnify the cumulative burden scientists now map with alarming precision. A common question is whether biodegradable plastics truly protect you better than conventional ones. Evidence says no. Breakdown simply accelerates the creation of particles small enough to penetrate tissues, amplifying rather than eliminating personal health risks. Another worry is dosage. Can such tiny amounts really hurt you? The mouse study confirms that repeated low-dose exposure absolutely matters with measurable organ damage and metabolic shifts appearing rapidly. You encounter the highest levels through drinking water, packaged foods, indoor dust, and wearable synthetics. Knowing those routes lets you prioritize filters, packaging choices, cleaning routines, and wardrobe materials that collectively slash exposure. So, start small, stay consistent, and track how each plastic swap simplifies your life and safeguards your cells. Today's challenge, Replace just one plastic food container with glass before your next meal and invite a friend to do the same. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.